Hey there YouTube, that's a here bringing you another Pokemon Showdown 1v1 OU battle. In this battle, it's going to be me on the bottom left versus Magnus Carlson on the top right. I'm going to use my rain team versus his uh, standard sandstorm. He's going to have all the all the sandstorm goodies there, even with the Latios and the Rotom. One of them is going to be choice scarfed, but I can't really tell from the team preview, so that's going to be super annoying. And I'm, I assume it's a cussed out very scarmily, but I can't be sure. The reason I'm uploading this battle is because uh, I thought it was kind of funny. I do GLHF, good luck, have fun like I normally do, and he immediately typed no fun. So what I can assume from this is that he wants me to have no fun, but have all the good luck. Like, have all of it. But no fun. Like, no no fun will we have this game. And uh, I'll deliver on that. So I'm going to leave my Blissey, because Blissey can counter every single thing on his team perfectly. There's not really that much he can do against a full ult's Blissey. He's going to go for the standard Volt Switch into T-Tar to eat my thunder. And I'm going to get the Para, because remember, we're having all the luck, but none of the fun. So, I don't really want to fight T-Tar with my Blissey anymore. He's probably going to go for rocks anyway, so I'm going to go into uh, my Politoed to start my Drizzle up. And I'm using my Choice Scarf Politoed, so I decided to Scald since I knew I'd be faster, and I get the burn. Remember, all the luck, none of the fun. But I, I don't really want to eat any Volt Switches, because it's, it's really obvious Volt Switch is coming, so I decided to go to Celebi. Because even if he were to come out with, like, Gengar here, I could swap to my Bussy. Or if he were to go to T-Tar here, I could do something cheeky like I'm right about to do. Now, I know he's paralyzed, so I know I'm faster, so I know I can Baton Pass. Now, people ask, why would you Baton Pass if you're not passing any stats? Baton Pass runs through Pursuit. Like, it, if you were to Pursuit me, Pursuit would end up hitting Politoed because Baton Pass is an actual uh, move. So that's why I go for Baton Pass there, and I, it was pretty cheeky. So, I decided to uh, HP Grass, his Rotom, on the swap, because it was obvious Rotom was coming out. And I go out to my Celebi after that, where he pain splits me. So, that's that's kind of weird. I don't really know why. I guess it was obvious I was going back into my Celebi. No matter. I'm going to pop a Recover. No damage done. Everything's fine. He's going to trick me. Give me those choice specs. And I'm going to lock myself in a nasty plot. So that's that's no good. I don't really want to stay in a nasty pot anymore. I'm gonna go to Blissey, and he's gonna call it in Psy Shock. But I don't really think calling me going to Blissey and Psy Shocking's good. I mean, it only has 36%. You see him swap out to Titar, and I'm gonna recall back because I don't want to eat any more of those Psy Shocks. I know Celebi can eat them a lot better than Blissey can. And we're back to where we started. Blissey versus Celebi, a battle I want. I'm gonna Baton Pass again because I do not want to get Pursuited. Pursuit does a lot of damage. Crunch does even more. So, he doesn't want to eat any of these Scalds. He's going to go into Latios because he cannot really eat anymore on Rotom without dying. And you see, I'm going to burn it. Remember, all, guys, all luck, no fun. Alright, so I don't want to eat any Draco Meteors. And I still haven't figured out if he's... Uh, well, no, I, I know I know he's lefties because he tricked me. So, I'm going to go to my Celebi to eat the Psy Shock. And I'm pretty much useless anyway since I'm tricked. So, I'm going to stay and eat the Draco. He was probably predicting me to switch back and, like, Kel or go into Keldia or go into Vapor or something like that, but I'll fight my Celebi. And now I can set up my Vapor on now that his special attack's cut. So he's going to withdraw, withdraw, go back out to T-Tar, maybe, uh, I don't know, He I get, it should have been obvious I was using Scald, but maybe like he wanted to scout if I was using Toxic and send on a Pokemon that already had a status condition. That's that's all him, I don't really know. And he's going to withdraw again, I think it's a like a triple swap going on, going out to Rotom. Now, Without the comfort of the rain going on, I don't really want to stay in. So I'm going to go into Latios because I'm pretty sure uh, Volt Switch is coming. And Volt Switch doesn't do that much. But let's see what he sends out. He's going to send out T-Tar because T-Tar count as Latios 1000%. I'm going to withdraw because I'm, I'm confident he doesn't have Pursuit. He would have used it a thousand times by now. And I'm going to go to my Keldeo, get my Justified proc on the Crunch to keep him on his toes. You know, he doesn't know if I'm Physical Attacker or Special Attacker. <laughs> He's going to withdraw. He doesn't want to eat any secret swords. And he's going to go into Rotom. Rotom's going to eat its Surf for about 20%. And now he's low enough to where another Surf can just finish him off. So on turn 20, I finally kill his first Pokemon. Starting to little break the wall. Because remember what I said, once I kill the Rotom and the Latios, I can start uh, Scalding with my Politoed to my heart's content. So I'm in Latios versus Latios battle. And... He's taken that burn damage. Burn damage has done more to that Latios than I have. <laughs> he's going to go back into his T-Tar again, and he's going to eat my Ice Beam. 
Now you guys know my Latos move set is Sub, Ice Beam, HP, Fire, and Thunderbolt. I don't even have a Dragon type move, but that's just because, uh, yeah, like Ice Beam would do more against like Solomons and stuff anyways. Because if I were to have a Dragon type move, I would probably have Dragon Pulse. So that's just why I like Ice Beam. And remember, Ice Beam is the best move in the game. 100% freeze. <laughs> He's going to finish me off. There's not really that much Latios can do against T-Tar, period. I'm going to go into Politoed to pretty much force his swap, and on the swap I'm going to use Scald. Scald's doing big more, a lot more damage in the rain, sorry, big more, that's, that's, got to use my words. So I'm going to finish off the Latios. Alright, finally I've killed his two things, stopping my Politoed from sweeping, and he sends out his T-Tar. Now, I knew I would be trapped from Pursuit here, so I decided just to stay in and hope he would get Haxed with the para, but wasn't happening. No go. I'm going to go into Keldeo to start cleaning up everything. And you surf T-Tar down, and look at, look at the rest of his team. Uh, his Gengar can get killed by a Surf. Not really killed, but drop low. His Landorus can get dropped low. His Garmory can get dropped low. Well, actually, Landorus would have died. So he's going to finish off my Keldeo after eating a Surf with a Shadow Ball. Alright. And we see it's Black Sludge, so we can assume it's Sub Gengar, but he doesn't have enough for Sub, so I'm... It's, it's no threat at the moment, and especially when he misses with the focus miss and gets crit with an ice beam. Best move in the game, guys. All the hacks. So it's Blissey and Vaporeon versus Skarmory and Landorus, and this is where I think he messes up. He sent out Skarmory. Uh, even though Skarmory uses Brave Bird, I don't really think that that was the smartest choice. I think if you would have sent out Landorus, and even, even Landorus going for like an Earth Power would have probably done more. So you see he tries to, I guess, go for spikes here because I didn't want to kill him selecting more with Brave Bird and while he's doing that I get two soft worlds off to 100% and you guys can probably tell from there he's still setting spikes like that's gonna be the GG in like two turns yeah another flamethrower and an ice beam that's probably gonna be it he goes for one last Brave Bird and gets the crit luckily him, luckily for him you know I could have I could have soft bold there I wish Blissey had Scald that'd be amazing Man, imagine if Blissey had Scald, guys. That would be 60% burn. That'd be crazy. So he's going to go for an Earth Power. Yeah, it does 31%. And I'm going to finish him off with an Ice Beam. So, uh, yeah, that was the battle of the uh, All Luck, No Fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.